This is Emac2411 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with your WWE NXT TakeOver Rival uh, February 11th, 2015. Full show review. NXT, NXT Rival results February 11th, 2015. Here's a, a special live event. You know, live special for the NXT Superstars and Divas. Let's get right into it. Now, yeah, um... The first match was Hideo Itami versus uh, Tyler Breeze in a match of how we all know how this started. Um, we all know, you know, Hideo Itami lost to Tom Baylor in the tournament. Um, Tyler Breeze, you know, got, I don't know, he just attacked him after his match. He was backstage having an interview. And then, you know, that's how this match got it. It was breaking news actually on the pre show when it was made. Um, and then Itami. Hideo Itami with it the hesitation drop kick in the corner and running kick for the win so Hideo Itami wins by pinfall and I would give this match 4 out of 5 stars pretty good way to start the show our second match would be a no disqualifications match Bull Dempsey versus Baron Corbin now the winner of this match would be um Baron Corbin and he would uh, hit end of days for the win via pinfall I'd give this match yeah, uh, you know, the first match went pretty good. It was long, long enough. This match didn't, I mean, wasn't really that long. We all know. Uh, it wasn't really that long. So, um, I don't, I'm going to try to get, I'll say three out of five stars. Ladies and gentlemen, um, subscribers and viewers, I'm going to say three. I mean, I would kind of do it lower. I would kind of want to give it higher, but it was just the length, you know. We all know how Baron Corbin is, you know, even Bull Dempsey, they're supposed to be just kind of like an old bird in a way to me. They're not, they're trying to, they're supposed to be like putting your opponent, um, away quickly. Well, uh, Baron Corbin only has one loss, and I think Bull Dempsey has like a few. I'm not sure how many he has. But yeah, uh, three out of five stars. And I'm not stopping this video, this upload. I continue right after the show. I come on here. Well, it's about 10.03 right now, but, you know, when I, mean, I come on here, I don't pause it. I do it right here, full live, full length. Now, our third match tonight would be an NXT Tag Team title match, championship match. Uh, the Lucha Dragons with, um, the Lucha Dragons, Sankara and Kalisto would challenge the, uh, Blake and Murphy. The third match of the night. Now, um, 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 you know, uh, Blake and Murphy would retain the NXT Tag Team Championships. Uh, Murphy would get, hit the big suplex after a tag, and Blake follows up with a frog flash for the win. So yeah, um, I'd give this match um, 3 out of 5 stars. Our fourth match would be the NXT Tag Team, or the NXT Championship Tournament Finals match. Between uh, number of contenders match, it would be Finn Balor versus Adrian Neville. Now this match, wow. This match, back and forth non-stop action. This was just incredible. Now, your winner would be Finn Balor. He would go to the top rope, hit a stomp for the win, and it gets number one contendership. So, yeah, your winner and new number one contender for the NXT Championship is Finn Balor. I'd give this match five. I don't know, five stars. Perfect match. I'm just so excited. Where's can I have to try it? You can relive this on the WWE Network exclusively. This was free for new subscribers, you know. Uh, this wasn't, you know, this ain't the best one so far. Uh, live event, you know, this is probably the, not the worst, I'm not going to say, but the least. If I had to rank them, this would be coming in at number, I think, five. No. I think, yeah, five. Oh, uh, up next, it would be, um, it would be a Fatal Farway NXT Women's Championship match. It would be, uh, Charlotte, the reigning defending champion, defending against three other divas, or women, girls, uh, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Okay, the winner of this match would be Sasha Banks. She would become the new NXT Women's Champion. That means Charlotte was actually had a 258 day reign. So the ending would be, um, would, uh, basically, you know, Charlotte, or, uh, Sasha Banks would actually have her in a, uh, cross face. And, um, uh, Sasha would pull her back, would turn it into a backplay for the pin and the title. She would win by pinfall. So there we go. I have to give this match, uh, I want to say 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to go with 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was pretty good though.
This was the second match of the night so far. Awesome. Where is this? Up next would be the main event, the main attraction, the main, the main match. Just why we're all watching. This is the draw, pretty much. It'd be Kevin Owens challenging Sami Zayn for the NXT Championship. Now, this is personal. We know how NXT, uh, our evolution. We all know how that ended, you know. It was his debut. It's actually two months to this day. Um, you know, um, this is just, you know, I don't know how this started. Now, the winner of this match would be Kevin Owens, and if you're new, NXT champion. Now, the winner of this match basically, you know, this was just crazy. You know, we all know Kevin Owens kind of dominated this match a little bit. Um, he would dominate this match pretty much. Um, you know, Sammy Zayn kind of will try coming back at the beginning. Well, not at the beginning. Uh, would try to come back, you know. You know how Sammy Zayn is. He doesn't quit. He never gives up. So, but the one thing would be, you know, the referees would try to, the referee would try to back him out of the corner because his neck, he would hit it, hit it on the X, on the outside. He'd do a, you know, high risk move and he hit it. Um, so yeah. So that, that's what would happen. And then he just kept delivering power bombs. Sammy Zayn actually kicked out after three of them, I think. But then, you know, the referees the doctors were trying to get him in, and, you know, they, I think he gave him, like, six power bombs total. The referee trying to pull him right, trying to get the trainer, the doctor on him, uh, you know, Sammy Zayn never really was pinned. He never got submitted, but he was beat down and punished and bruised, broken, I mean, injured. Um, but, you know, uh, he would tell the ref, uh, he would, uh, the doc trainers and doctors would, like, tell the referee to stop it, so the referee had no choice. Um, so the referee would end up stopping the match due to Sammy's condition, so there you go. Basically, that's how it would, after the ball, the referee would hand Owens the title, raise his hand, he'd begin his celebration, and then, you know, trainers would check on Sammy as, take, as takeover rival, NXT rival, um, NXT rival, would go off here on the W Network exclusively, two hour special live event, and all that crap. Um, but I, I gotta say this match, I'm gonna say 4.5 or 5, 4, something like that. Not sure. But out of this whole event, I'm gonna say 7 out of 10. Just because, you know, 3 matches were good. Half the show was pretty much good. 3 out of these 6 matches were good. This was not the best NXT TakeOver arrival. These were pretty much the 3 draws, like what they built it around. Um, the stories, the, the huge rivalries, the matches, just how this was all booked and stuff. You know, where's Triple H? You know, Triple H should be running around SmackDown. This this was better than this round, this better than around SmackDown, though. What we're getting nowadays, you know, better than main event, superstars. Um, you know, I gotta say, I have to say, um, what was better, the Royal Rumble or this? NXT TakeOver, um, Rivals, I would say Royal Rumble. No, I would say NXT TakeOver, I mean, Rivals. I'm sorry, I can't get my word for it, I swear. Really, I'm so upset about just how it ended and just how the whole show was. It was really good. Pretty good, I mean, solid. Not the best one. I ranked this least, but, um, hey, it was, it was still pretty good, though. 7 out of 10. I mean, I, I kind of want to give it to 8, but it's not like every match is good. It was pretty good, though. Really. Pretty good. Decent. Solid. You know, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, basically, um, that's really it. I mean, Royal Rumble 2015 pay per view was not was not better than this NXT Takeover was um, tonight. Um, you can go relive it. You can go watch it again. You can go subscribe to uh, WWE Network right now. It's free for new subscribers. Go to WWE.com now. You know you can watch it. It's entirety two hours. Um, you know, you know. I'm hoping we can have something on like near WrestleMania. Have like a live special, but I don't know. Triple H should be booking Raw and all that crap. Just everything to build, you know. I think he's just perfect, man. That's why it's a it's A plus, ten out of ten. Not like the show, but just the whole brand. I mean, this could, this should, we should have NXT versus WWE. These superstars, you know, it's kind of stressful to do this, so you know that's why I wasn't botches and all that crap, you know. But yeah, it's basically gonna be it for this video, everyone. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support and subscribe, viewers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it. So see you two, peace out. Make sure to like this video, share this video all over the entire internet, on Facebook, on Twitter, comment with your thoughts, 
in your opinions. And yet, um, it's gonna be it. So subscribe for more WWE content.